It's not the Moto GP, buddy. And he's bent over like he's in the fucking Grand Prix. He's uh, like he's in the fucking Isle of Man TT. Shit. Oh, nice sliders. This guy is bent over like he's in Moto GP, man. What the fuck? Okay. Okay. Oh, so light. I'm gonna stall this bitch. I promise you guys. Oh yeah, just how I remember it. Super upright. Oh yeah. I feel like I'm on a scooter. So flickable. Oh, good lord. It's like a BMX bike. Missing an exhaust. <laughs> ah, can be the sound of my four cylinder Sarah 636 engine. So, found me a subscriber. Very nice. First one. I'm gonna try to show him the way back to Tel Aviv. Oh, and I was being a fucking cunt. And I thought that he was trying to pass me. He was behind me. And I was like, well, go ahead. Not gonna stop you. Oh, no, no. Oh, well. Take care, buddy. So, I gotta hand it to KTM. They did a fucking insane good job of an event. I don't remember being in an event like this in Israel. Actually, ever since coming back here. And I gotta say, between seeing Rock Bogaros, uh, you know, his stunts, he's a fucking beast. Awesome dude. You guys should check him out on YouTube. I think he's got a YouTube YouTube channel, like all stunters. Uh, the only fucking downside of the fucking events in Israel is people just don't know their fucking place. They just don't respect other people's property and motorcycles. I saw like fucking, if just to count off the top of my head, like maybe around 25 to fucking 40 fucking arsawatic little cunts coming to sniff around my motorcycle. One fucking blocked me off, so I had to do like a fucking um, ninja move and like uh, get on the sidewalk and then get off get off of the sidewalk backwards. Almost fucking fell because of that little fucking bitch ass mofo. Ah oh, man, and um, but overall great fucking event. Um, right there at the end, like I moved my bike. This Husqvarna 
Husqvarna Nuda $900, yes, that's the name. Now, unfortunately, <laughs> this bike is, I guess, some kind of uh, unnatural uh, UFO phenomenon in Israel, where whenever you see that bike, people have to come and fucking take a look at it, take pictures. Anyway, so I ended up parking my bike right there uh, at the end when I was about to leave, right next to the fucking Nuda. <laughs> and Everybody just fucking walks by. It's like, oh shit, man, look at this bike. Oh shit. Oh shit, look at that bike. Look at that bike. Yo, bro, come check out this bike. Yo, 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 you are so what, bro. Come check out this bike, man. Every little fucking kid and their fucking mother and grandmother went out and checked that fucking bike. And the dumb fucking cunt being me, I parked my bike right next to the fucking Nuda, pretty close to it as well. So, you know, they're just like, you know, standing next to it and stuff, and I really wanted to go back into the fucking event and stuff. But I was like, oh, there's no fucking way I'm gonna leave my bike here, because... Honestly, knowing fucking Israeli cunts by now... Ah, Jesus fucking Christ. Fucking potholes. Knowing fucking Israelis by now, man. I knew that if I would leave my bike alone, or not even look at it for five fucking seconds, a little fucking arsewatic cunt of a fucking bitch would come and either sit on it or touch it. Ah, uh, anyway guys, I really hope you enjoy this uh, vid, plus meeting my uh, first subscriber <laughs> on the road, which, uh, which is uh, pretty cool. So, thanks a lot bud. Make sure to uh, show you if I can in the videos, I doubt that I got good enough footage, but I'll try and you guys go ahead and ride safe, take it easy. See you at the next one.